good evening. Welcome to our service of Compline. We're about the, to lay the day to rest and so we commit everything that we've done and including all that we haven't managed to do uh, to God and we ask for his blessing and his grace and where uh, where we needed forgiveness. And so let us commit ourselves to God in prayer um, with, as we remember today, uh, the Apostles Philip and James, with whom we pray. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed, and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your Spirit, and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Before the ending of the day, creator of the world, we pray that you with steadfast love would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight, from fears and terrors of the night, tread underfoot our deadly foe, that we no sinful thought may know. O Father, that we ask be done, through Jesus Christ, your only Son, and Holy Spirit, by whose breath our souls are raised to life from death. Amen. Bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord my God, how excellent is your greatness. You appointed the moon to mark the seasons, and the sun knows the time for its setting. You make darkness, that it may be night, in which all the beasts of the forest creep forth. The lions roar for their prey, and seek their food from God. The sun rises, and they are gone, to lay themselves down in their dens. People go forth to their work, and to their labour until the evening. O Lord, how manifold are your works! In wisdom you have made them all. The earth is full of your creatures. There is the sea spread far and wide, and there move creatures beyond number, both small and great. There go the ships, and there is that leviathan, which you have made to play in the deep. All of these look to you, to give them their food in due season. When you give it them, they gather it. You open your hand, and they are filled with good. When you hide your face, they are troubled. When you take away their breath, they die and return again to the dust. When you send forth your spirit, they are created, and you renew the face of the earth. May the glory of the Lord endure forever. May the Lord rejoice in his works. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. A reading from the book of Revelation. The servants of the Lamb shall see the face of God, whose name will be upon their foreheads. There will be no more night. They will not need the light of a lamp or the light of the sun, for God will be their light, and they will reign for ever and ever. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Alleluia, alleluia. 
Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Alleluia, alleluia. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. Alleluia, alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Alleluia, alleluia. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. Grant us your light, O Lord, that the darkness of our hearts being overcome, we may receive the true light, even Christ our Saviour. Alleluia. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Grant us your light, O Lord, that the darkness of our hearts being overcome, we may receive the true light, even Christ our Saviour. Alleluia. Let us pray. And so we pray for ourselves and for all that we have done today and all that we have left undone. And we ask God's mercy and his grace, his blessing, his compassion, and above all, his love. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we pray for a world of need. At this time aware of its vulnerability physically both in terms of supplies and in terms of of great vulnerability to this virus. And at this time when we are reminded of our fragility, we ask God to renew us, to send forth his spirit that we might be recreated and the face of the earth renewed. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And praying this day with the apostles Philip and James, we ask for courage and boldness in the gospel. And we ask for God's blessing on all people, but especially on those known to us in any sort of need. or those who have asked for prayer, or those who we simply want God to bless. We pray for Reverend John, for Jennifer, for Bob, for Julian, for our placement students, for Fathers Patrick and Daniel, and for all who minister with them. We pray for Jeanette, for Jane, for Lynn and Charles, for Nick and Louise, for Andrew, for Barry, for Patricia, for Peter, for Chris and Laura, for 
or all of our choir. We pray for those in any sort of need within the congregation. We remember Muriel. And we give thanks that we are all still here. But most of all, we give thanks for the gift of God in Jesus Christ. And we ask that through him, God would bless our village. And in terms of people who are in any sort of need, we pray once more for Margaret Whip for her recovery, for Chris, for Chris and Grant. We also pray for Ivor. And we pray for um, Anne. especially in this lonely time of bereavement and for Percy in this time of bereavement. Almighty God, by trumping, uh, triumphing over the power of darkness, Christ has prepared a place for us in the new Jerusalem. May we who have this day given thanks for his resurrection, praise him in the eternal city of which he himself is the light. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep, for you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. May the risen Lord Jesus bless us. May he watch over us and renew us as he renews the whole of creation. May our hearts and lives echo his love. Amen. And so good night. God bless. Stay safe. Stay well. I hope to see you tomorrow. And please do tune in on Sunday morning at 10.30 for our uh, three benefits uh, Sunday worship. God bless you.